Let us now understand how to solve word problems relating to age. Question is, Peter is five years older than Jim. In six years, some of their ages will be 39. How old is Peter now? So we can make a reference table here with two columns, one for Peter and one for Jim, right? Peter and Jim. Now what we are given here is that Peter is five years older than Jim. So, so present time, listen now, what we are given is Peter is five years older than Jim. So if J is number of years for Jim, then the Peter is five years older. That means J plus five. That makes it five years older than Jim. It says in six years, that means plus six years, some of their ages will be 39. But in six years, what happens to their age? There will be six more, right? So it will be J plus five plus six. And Jim will be J plus six, right? Both will age. But it says in six years, some of their ages will be 39. That means this plus this is equal to 39. That is how we get our equation. So we have j plus 5 plus 6 plus j plus 6 is equal to 39. So that is how we get our equation. Now this equation is in single variable. We can always find j from here. So let's solve and find j. So we get j plus j as 2j. So we get 2j equals to um, 39. And as far as numbers are concerned, 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 5 is 17. So let me write 17 first here. Then 2j will be equals to 39 minus 17, which is, so when you take away, you get 2 and 22. So 2j equals to 22, j equals to 22 divided by 2, which is 11. Question is, how old is Peter now. Peter now is J plus 5. So Peter will be J plus 5, right? That means 11 plus 5, which is 16. And therefore, we can write down our answer that Peter is now 16 years old. So that is how we can solve a word problem relating to age. Thank you.